Hello friends. Uh, so once again, I welcome you to my channel. In our last video, we have seen some numericals on direct mapping. And here also, we'll continue with the same, right? So the numerical is, assume that a computer has 32-bit addresses, right? Each block stores 16 words. So 16 words, that will give me what? My word field length. 16, express it in powers of 2. So it will be 2 to the power 4. So 4 will be the length of word field in my address. A direct map cache has 256 blocks. Directly they have given us the number of blocks. What is that? 256. So 256, if you express in powers of 2, it is 2 to the power 8. So 8 will be the uh, length of my block field in the address. So in which particular block or line number of the cache would we look for each of the following addresses? They have given us some addresses. In those addresses, uh, means for these particular addresses, which block we will see in the cache that we need to find out. Please understand, here we are not finding hit or miss. Just we are seeing to which particular block the address will be mapped to. That's all only we need to do. And addresses are given in hexadecimal for our convenience. Why? Because addresses are 32-bit quantity. So, a 32-bit binary quantity handling is a bit uh, difficult. So, due to that, what we are using hexadecimal. Hope you know what is hexadecimal number system. Binary 4 bits gives me one hexadecimal digit. So, in 32-bit, how many hexadecimal digits will come? 32 by 4, that is nothing but 8. So, see, in each of the addresses, 8, 8 digits are there, right? So, that gives me one 32-bit address. Now, see, in your uh, given uh, situation, your block size is 16 words. So, word field is coming as 4. Next is number of blocks is 2 to the power 8. So, block field length will be 8. Now, see, in your total address, see here, in your total address, 32 is the length. 4 will go for word and 8 will go for block, right? So, lower order, for, uh, lower order these 8 bits we need to see to find out which block the address will be mapped to, right? So, see, in case of one particular, uh, in case of 4 binary bits, it will give me 1 hexadecimal digit. This will give me 2 hexadecimal digits. So, whatever is my address, in that address, the lower order, uh, the lower order first 4 bits, that is the first lower order hexadecimal digit will represent what? Offset of the word inside the block, right? And the next 8 bits, that is second and third lower order hexadecimal digits will represent the block number to which this incoming address will be mapped to, right? So, we have understood this. Now, we only need to apply this concept to solve the numerical. So, the given address is this one. See, this is my address. So, here, this next two, that means 0, 1, these two uh, hexadecimal digits will represent the block number to which this particular address will be mapped to. So, this part is done. And we don't know whether it is hit or miss. We need not have to bother also. Here, we just need to see which block this address will be mapped to. So, answer is 0, 1. Hope this one is clear. Then, coming to the next address. Next address is this one, right? So, in this the next two hexadecimal digits are what? 0F. So, 0F will be the block number to which this address will be mapped to, right? Then next in this address, 8 is offset and 6, 7 is the block number, right? So, 6, 7 is the block number to which this particular address will be mapped to. Like that, the last one, this one. Very simple numerical basically, just uh, this 5, 3. 5, 3 is the block number to which this address will be mapped to in the cache memory and we'll see whether it is a hit or miss. So, hope this numerical is clear. It was a very simple numerical. Only we need to have the understanding of the hexadecimal number system as well as how many bits are required to represent block and your word and which part represents your block and all, right? So, that part is clear. Now, moving on to, we'll see the next numerical. One question is there, see here. Consider a direct map cache of size 16 kb. Total size is given, not number of blocks. So, my cache memory has size of 16 kb with block size of 256 bytes. The size of main memory is 128 kb. What will be the number of bits in the tag field and what will be the size of tag directory? What is tag directory? I'll explain. So, see, where from we'll start? Our C, everywhere uh, with every location, this is byte byte is given. So, we'll assume that memory is byte addressable, right? 
and size of main memory is given as 128 kb that means 128k locations are there in the memory each location is holding 8 bits of data so how many total locations will be there that is nothing but 2 to the power 17 128 represents what 2 to the power 7 k is what 2 to the power 10 if we we'll add them it is 2 to the power 17 that means what the number of bits representing main memory address will be nothing but 17 bits so this 17 bits we need to remember the total length of my address is 17 bits now see this address consists of three parts what are those your word field block field and your tag field you remember from our previous discussion so see word field depends on what size of a block so what is the size of a block 256 bytes so that also we need to express it in powers of 2 so it is 2 to the power 8 so that exponent is the length of my word field right so number of bits in the word field will be 8 then next part is what block right so here they have not directly given us the number of blocks but they have given us the size of cache memory so it is nothing but 16 kb right my block total size of cache memory is 16 kb which will be divided into blocks of size 256 bytes 256 bytes they have gone what is this 2 to the power 4 plus 10 14 and 2 to the power 8 so how many blocks will be there 2 to the power 6 that is 64 blocks will be there in the cache memory see here already it is done size of the cache memory by block size so it is nothing but 2 to the power 6 so 6 bits are required to represent a block number in the cache so see out of my 17 bits how many bits i have used for word and then next is for 6 so 6 plus 17 minus 6 plus 8 will give me what tag field right so total length of total means number of bits in the tag will be total address minus block field length and word field length that is 6 plus 8 so answer is 3 bits so the size of tag bit will be 3 bits so this part is clear now we will see what is the size of the tag directory so see tag directory is nothing but with each of the blocks present in the cache memory whatever be the blocks present in the cache memory with each of them one tag is stored right and whatever memory is required for that that is nothing but my tag directory size right tag directory basically stores the tags associated with the blocks in the cache memory and what will be its size its size will be length of this particular bits it will be all same length of this particular bits into what number of blocks in the cache do understand each block has got a tag so whatever is the number of blocks into what size of the tag field already we have seen in our uh, this one that how many for each block in the cache tag bits are stored and size of the tag will what number of blocks in the cache into number of bits in the tag field already we have seen six bits were there in the block field that means 64 number of blocks are there in the cache memory multiplied by the length of the tag field what is that 3 bits so it is 192 bits and if you want or if you wish then you can represent it in your bytes also that is 24 bytes if time does not permit you can write up to here also that is also fine right so as a whole the answer is 24 bytes hope this part is clear then i will then we will do one more numerical see here another numerical is there direct map cache of size 256 kb is given 256 kb is given block size is 1 kb is given there are 8 bits in the tag they are asking the size of main memory and the size of tag directory this is easier one size of main memory consists of what three components what are those one is word field one is block field one is tag field tag field is directly given 8 bits what is the block size 1 kb 1 kb express it in powers of 2 one more thing here everywhere uh, associated with um, byte by that means we can assume that our memory is byte addressable right so see in the block block size is 1 kb so what will be the offset length the word length your uh, 10 bits because 1 k means what 2 to the power 10 then we need to find out how many blocks are there in the cache then we will express it in powers of 2 that will give me the length of block field so total length of main uh, cache memory is given 256 kb divided by block size that is 1 kb so what it will be it will be 
256 express it in powers of 2 what it will be 8 so see total what is the length of main memory address then find the size of main memory so first see this is the length of my main memory address 8 plus 8 plus 10 what is that 26 bits so using 26 bits how many bytes we can store we can store 2 to the power 26 bytes that is the capacity of your main memory 26 26 means what 64 and 2 to the power 20 means what m b that is the size of your main memory it is already solved here we'll see here see once again byte addressable block size is 1 kb so word field is 10 bits then number of blocks size of the cache memory by block size so it is 2 to the power 8 8 bits are required total then tag bit is 8 so total address will be what uh, this part is not required so uh, this total bits is length, uh, addition of all these right so 8 plus 8 plus 10 26 bits and so main memory size will be 64 mb where from i am getting is 2 to the power 6 26 so 6 is 64 20 is what m so 64 mb this much we have understood then next is size of the tag directory size of the tag directory already i told what is that number of blocks in the cache into size of the tag bits so how many blocks are there in the cache 256 right 256 so 256 into the number of bits in the tag field what is that 8 so multiplied by 8 so simply we have written 256 bytes 8 bit na? so it is byte so 256 byte will be the answer hope this one is also clear then we'll see one more now see direct map cache uh, with block size of 2 kb size of main memory is 64 gb there are 10 bits in the tag find the size of cache memory and the size of tag directory very simple we can do it very quickly see main memory's address uh, size is 64 gb 64 means what 6 2 to the power 6 g means what 30 so it is 36 bits are there in the total address right and size of block is what 2 kb that means 2 to the power 1 and 2 to the power 10 what is that 11 bits in the word field right and tag bits is holding what 10 bits tag bit is holding 10 bits so what is block field 36 minus 10 plus 11 right so see 11 bits in the word field 36 bits in the total address then tag bit is 10 it is given so block field length will be what total address length minus this two uh, addition of this two so it will be 15 bits so 15 bits will be there in the block field so now we can find out easily the size of cache memory how we are going to do it see block field length is 25 bits that means 2 to the power 15 number of blocks will be there in the cache memory that is number of blocks but the size of each block is what 2 kb that is the total capacity of cache memory so see number of blocks into size of each block so 2 to the power 15 size of each block is 2 to the power 11 bytes so it is 2 to the power 26 bytes this we can write 64 mb just now we have seen 2 to the power 26 means 64 m right so this much is clear next is tag directory size tag directory size is simple number of bits in the tag field into the number of blocks number of blocks is what 2 to the power 15 into what 10 so it is 4096 bytes right so this much is there in this video next video again we are going to discuss some more numericals on direct map cache till then thank you